we start with weekly chart just i want to give a quick update and as we can see based on weekly chart the price tag the lowest price of this correction and uh, right now what we're looking for we're looking for buy we're looking for the reversal anyway we move to lower time frame we move to daily chart and based on daily chart as we can see the price tag the lowest price of this correction and even we see the breakout flowing by divergence that's why from now if you get any opportunity for buy as a reversal we will take it and uh, the targets we can look for based on daily chart we can look for 1.4 flowing by 1.7 all right as a long term this is the targets we can look for but based on daily chart we don't have any trade setup for buy and if we move to lower time frame if we move to forward chart and uh, we see the price broke this one this correction that's why if you get any opportunity from here at this point we don't have any trade setup but from now if you get any opportunity for buy we will take it that's mean we have to wait for the flag or correction before we take the next trade all right by the way the breakout of the previous stop which is a 60 cent is quite important for us that's mean from now if you get any opportunity for buy we'll take it but we have to wait for the trade setup and even if you move to forward one hour chart i don't see any trade setup yet the only thing is for those traders they get the trade for buy within this range they should move their sub loss to break even or book some profit but from now the, we prefer to see the breakout of the previous stop then from there if you get any opportunity for buy the flag or small correction we will take the trade because we're looking for the reversal simply we cannot look for buy and even if we get any opportunity for buy we have to see the continuation as a sharp move not the corrective move because if the price turns to a corrective move we can expect for the next drop anyway we just follow the chart if i see any update i will share thanks